do. U.S. troops get ready for possible ambush before going on patrol in eastern Afghanistan. First, if, we, if necessary, we push through the kill zone. A Jordanian Ranger battalion is joining the patrol. They're bringing their number one weapon against the Taliban. Meet the Jordanian Army's Imam, Sheikh Mohammed Najam. The Imam, armed only with his Islamic faith, is a voice for moderate Islam challenging the Taliban views that people often hear. The Imam tells us of his Islamic obligation to help those in need, to remind everyone that true Islam is a religion of moderation. We convoy to a school compound of women and children. Elders don't want us here. While the soldiers negotiate entry, the Imam gathers children close. He regularly comes to villages to discuss religious matters. An elder finally lets in a unique group of Jordanian female soldiers. I enter the compound with them. Women who can readily enter Afghan compounds and homes in a non-threatening manner. When the men finally enter, school supplies are distributed by the Jordanian women. We are just six uh, girls here working and present some assistance to the brother uh, of her. But suddenly the Afghan men here grow nervous and we are told to get out. We've just found out why we were asked to leave the school. Apparently last year when some troops brought aid here, they distributed the school supplies, but after they left, the Taliban came and killed eight school children. U.S. troops tell us they don't believe the story, but the elders' anxiety underscores the very real fear of the Taliban. He wants a uh, Quran for uh, the mosque. He, wa he wants a yeah, Quran? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, ask me. The Jordanian commander makes clear his troops' main effort is to offer help. It's sometimes soft hand is better than going with hard hand. But if it comes to it, his men will fight. Now we still as soldiers, we are prepared for combat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Back at camp, Imam Sheikh Mohammed Najim leads Jordanian and Afghan troops at prayer time. The pause for faith and devotion before the next mission. Barbara Starr, CNN, Logar Province, Afghanistan.